By the late 70s, Scooby-Doo continued his run on Saturday mornings. But three series later, people were really getting tired of the same formula. To make matters worse, ABC began threatening to cancel the show due to low ratings. Hanna-Barbera had to act fast, or else this would be the end of our lovable cartoon canine and his mystery-solving pals. Then, they did the unthinkable. They created a character that would become so hated that fans often credit him for ruining the franchise. I am of course talking about Scrappy-Doo. Introducing Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, Scrappy was Scooby's young feisty nephew that joined the gang in solving mysteries, and he was the polar opposite of Scooby. Where Scooby wanted to run away from the monsters, Scrappy wanted to stay and try to fight the monsters, only to be stopped by his uncle and Shaggy. Cartoon characters being given young nephews wasn't anything new at the time. This happened a lot in the past and many classic cartoons from the golden age of animation. But Scrappy was a part of a fatty TV at the time known as the Cousin Oliver Syndrome, where a show adds a cute young character to the cast to help save his ratings, and more often than not, it backfired. Years after the show ended, Scrappy began to receive a lot of hate from everyone. Heck, even Scooby creators Joe Ruby and Ken Spears didn't like him all that much. The Scrappy hate was universal, from internet to TV to movies. There was even a game on CartoonNetwork.com a long time ago called Scrappy Stinks where you could throw stuff at him. But the pressure still remains. Did Scrappy deserve all the hate? Well, yeah. I didn't find him all that charming, his voice was kinda grating, and his attempts to act tough made him look more like a nuisance. The show didn't do that much for me either. It was basically a continuation of the Scooby-Doo show, but with Scrappy thrown in. There wasn't even that much interesting mysteries or monsters. Fred, Daphne, and Velma's roles were downplayed this season, so that the focus was more on our comic release. Later episodes of Scooby and Scrappy feature Scooby, Scrappy, and Shaggy in hijinks, goofy situations, and silly scenarios. The now played out mystery format was dropped and so were Fred, Daphne, and Velma. And these were just... okay. For something different to do with the franchise, it wasn't horrendous, just hit or miss. There were also segments featuring Scooby's relative, Yabadoo. Get it? Yabadoo? Yeah, I always hated these. So overall, Scrappy was an annoying and completely unnecessary addition to the franchise. But I will say this, and it pains me to say it, but if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have any more Scooby. Yeah, yeah, I know, but think about it. The show was on the verge of getting cancelled, and Scrappy was brought along to keep the show fresh and keep the show alive. Scrappy has his fans as well, and even though he is mocked today, he deserves some thanks. But sadly, throughout all this, Scooby and Scrabby will be the start of the franchise's decline. Scrappy Dappy Doo! <laughs> Scooby Dooby 